Porsche First let me hop out the motherfucking Porsche I don't wanna if that ass don't sit like a horse I be ballin' on these niggas got me feelin' like What's going on gamers? Thank you for rocking with your boy today Go ahead, drop a like on the video Subscribe if you are new to the channel I will appreciate that very very much Let's get right into the video and talk about what Madden 20 needs to be successful. First thing we're going to talk about is gameplay. Now, the beta has been out for almost a month. What I want to talk about is gameplay and tweaks with the gameplay. What Madden has done over the past couple years is release the game to us and then within 20 25 30 days they go and patch the game now what madden needs to do this year is be strong stand on the foundation that you have already set a lot of us got the beta and i would say about 97 percent of people were satisfied with the beta so we don't need you to go behind the scenes we don't need you to touch the pass rush leave it how it is now you can go and make small adjustments as far as one-on-one -on -one aggressive catches we want to see that really really limited we want to see that if we play three games online you have spent about an hour and 40 minutes one-on-one -on -one aggressive catches maybe two times at the max we want to see somebody coming down with that unless they are in the zone if they are in the zone they have did everything that they needed to complete all the objectives and they get in the zone okay aggressive catches is something that needs to happen but as far as somebody breaking the game exploiting or just getting bailed out we need to keep that to a minimum the next thing i want to talk about is playmaker if i call the best defense if i'm making crazy adjustments because being in madden 20 beta you are already at the line of scrimmage it takes skill to be able to make all the right adjustments in less than four maybe five seconds at the most before they hike the ball so if i make all the right adjustments if you make all the right adjustments you call the perfect defense on a crucial third and five third and 14 it don't matter the situation the last thing that you want is for your ai to break down and your opponent to be able to get a extended drive or a big time conversion because of the playmaker so one thing that you got to do ea one thing that needs to keep the game nice and balanced is to either take the playmaker completely out i didn't see it overpower in the beta let me say that but either take it out or limit it don't let it show up on every single play call another thing that i want to talk about like I said, do not change the pass rush, but also let's keep the game even more realistic where you can limit the amount of adjustments that can be made on the line. And the reason why I say that is because I always have a crazy offensive scheme. And the number one thing that makes me mad is when somebody cannot stop my offensive scheme and then they force my hand by being able to make four adjustments on the defensive line and that's what i like to call bum ball they will put two spies on the field only rush one or two people and then drop everybody else in coverage or cross man everybody that is not something that you're gonna see in the nfl ever your defensive line that a that official pass rush is what people get paid the big bucks for in the nfl when they get on that field, they are going after the quarterback, and that is the number one thing. They are not playing prevent defense. So I need Madden developers to make sure that we are getting that same every time that we play, every time that we turn the game on. I don't want these kind of crazy adjustments because you can't stop my offense. It should be a skill gap. You should always have at least three people going after the quarterback no matter the situation now if you got one person in the spy two people in the spy and three people rushing not nobody dropping back into a yellow zone or none of that bull crap three people rushing and i'm able to pick up on that 
I should be able to hit you with a draw, hit you with a trap, inside zone. Your user shouldn't be able to shoot a gap. I should be able to just gut your defense. Now, if there's anything else, before I start extending the video, running out of time that you want to see, make sure you let me know in the comment section because I want the best kind of gameplay experience for myself and I want y'all to have the best gameplay experience also. So let's go.